Zach Cox and Dakota Randall joining me in the PNC Bank Sports Corner. Big news today, Tom Brady, second time retiring, but this time it sounds for real. Dak, I want to start with you. Breaking news this morning, woke well, everyone up around the world, especially in sports. What was your reaction to TB12 announcing his retirement in a very personal, raw, and genuine video? Yeah, I mean, I think the timing of it was the most surprising part to me. I think myself and a lot of other people were sort of anticipating Another long offseason with Tom Brady rumors and speculation. Was he going to go to the Raiders, the Jets, maybe the Dolphins? Uh, you know, hearing more and more people trying calling for him to come back to the Patriots, all this kind of stuff. I was sort of preparing myself to, to deal with that all offseason. And the fact that we won't have to deal with that seemingly and that Tom Brady's career indeed is finally over. Uh, it was surprising. And if I'm being slightly honest, uh, a little bit of relief because the, the topic can be a little bit tiresome. Uh, so it's kind of good now that we can finally just look at Tom Brady's career in the big picture and, and sort of move on. Zach, what was your reaction? Very similar. Uh, I was honestly pretty surprised uh, based on all the reporting that had come out uh, in the last couple of weeks, uh, uh, including quotes from guys like Julian Edelman and, and Rob Gronkowski, who know Tom Brady pretty well. Everybody seemed to think that Tom Brady did have at least one more year in him and and that he was most likely going to leave Tampa Bay and play somewhere else uh, for his 24th NFL season. But uh, evidently that that is not the case. And seeing just the, the way that he announced it this year compared to his, his previous announcement last year, just the kind of the rawness and, and the sort of honesty, I, I guess you could say with that, that video is very low production value, just kind of him on a, uh, on a selfie camera announcing it. Uh, it did seem like there was an actual sense of finality this year. And I would be surprised if, if this is not the official retirement for Tom Brady. Yeah, I got to agree on that point. I enjoyed it in a way that it was vulnerable. It was real. And, you know, in a world of PR where Tom Brady has some of the best public relations in the world and a guy that has made a whole nother, you know, level to his career with the videos he has on social media, just being true, being himself. And it seemed like a, a, a rare moment for him where he was by himself, individual, and said, I'm just going to do it this way. No public statement on his terms, unless, unlike it was a year ago. But Zach, you brought it up where, you know, it kind of surprised us the level he's been playing at, given this season, banged up offensive line, banged up defense. And there's also an overhaul happening with the Buccaneers. Why, in your sense, why come back for this season after playing like an MVP last year, but also why retire now where it seems like he still amazingly has so much left in the tank? Yeah, I'm going to be curious to see what Tom Brady's explanation for that is uh, in the coming weeks and months, whether he has any regrets of not just making that last year's retirement uh, his official one, because uh, as you mentioned, this was not a great season for Tom Brady. Uh, he did not quote unquote suck by any means, which he's long said when he sucks, he'll retire. He did look like a player who still had something left in the tank, certainly, but the team around him was not very good. It was definitely a frustrating season for him. And even his own level of play was not up to the all pro MVP Super Bowl caliber level uh, that we're used to seeing from him. So uh, it did seem like he just kind of reached a point where he said, this isn't really worth it anymore. Uh, I know there was a report from Jeff Darlington over at ESPN this morning uh, that said Brady was just exhausted by the end of this season. Uh, and he certainly seemed that way uh, in a lot of his press conferences and comments uh, over the course of the season. So uh, this did, did seem like maybe he stepped away a year too late uh, but it, uh, from that standpoint, maybe it's not so surprising after you look at how this year went for him. Yeah, Dakota, going back to you on this one, when you look at Tom Brady, where you guys have covered him up close when he was in New England, from afar when he was with Tampa Bay, what sticks out to you the most? What's the most memorable moment you have, whether it's an exchange at a press conference or just being around Tom Brady in that capacity when he was with Patriot or when he was a Buccaneer? Well, I think as – for everybody, it's kind of the same. It's the sustained level of incredible success, um, both you know for the team, the Patriots and the Buccaneers, uh, and just individually how how great he was for so long. Uh, I think Zach just tweeted this. I forget the exact number, but he never went more than three seasons without making a Super Bowl. Only two, if you take out the season that he lost because of the ACL. So that's just incredible. I mean, it was just growing up in New England, it felt like. Just every season, every year, you knew that the Patriots were either going to be in the Super Bowl or get close to it, uh, to the point where you almost took it for granted. Uh, so it was just 
it felt surreal. It's it feels surreal now looking back on it, realizing like what we really watched during those twenty years, how remar- remarkable it was. And as far as a a top moment, I mean, it's really hard to pick one. I think the ones that really stand out for me, obviously, the comeback against the Falcons in the Super Bowl. Uh, but I think the Super Bowl win over the Seahawks for me is what I think was his personal top moment. You know, that comeback against that defense at the time, the best defense in the world, all the pressure sort of hanging over because of deflate gate uh, to play the way he did in the second half and into the fourth quarter in that game uh, was just amazing and amazing too. that, you know, where his career could have gone. If Malcolm Butler didn't uh, come up with that inter- interception, you never know. Uh, and then second behind that for me, I think is the road playoff win over the Kansas city chiefs. Uh, kind of wonder if there's a changing of the guard in the AFC at that point with Patrick Mahomes and the chiefs are the Patriots kind of finally done. Uh, they weren't that great that season. Uh, and then to go on the road and pick up that win the way they did, especially with the the drive uh, in fourth quarter and an overtime, all those third down completions to Elliman. I mean, that was just uh, incredible stuff. Um, but there are certainly many to choose from. Zach, what about for you all the years on the Patriots beat? What's most memorable about covering Tom Brady up close for all those years? Well, I think the most impressive thing about his entire run is something that Dakota mentioned, just the longevity, the fact that he was able to do this for as long as he did, the fact that he's 45 and we're now kind of moderately surprised that he's retiring, that it this announcement this morning was people like, oh man, I didn't expect that. This guy's 45 years old. He's been at the top of his game since I personally was, I think, 10 years old, 11 years old. Really, the entirety of, of my adult life, Tom Brady has been one of, if not the best quarterback in the NFL. Uh, I mean, the stats are are staggering. There's so many of them that you can choose from. The, the fact that he has as many Super Bowl wins as years that he did not reach the conference championship game. He has seven of each of those. The fact that he basically has you could make the argument for three separate hall of fame careers over the course of his career. Uh, The fact that I think he has 17,000 more passing yards than anybody in NFL history, 129, I believe it is more touchdowns than anyone in NFL history. Uh, We could spend an entire video, an entire podcast, just rattling off Tom Brady stats and each of them would sound more impressive than the last, but something that really stood out to me uh, about Tom Brady is the reverence that his teammates had for him uh, because by the time he was getting late in his career uh, there were guys that were literally children watching Tom Brady win Super Bowls uh, and then ended up playing for him and in some cases winning Super Bowls with him and just the level of of respect and, and awe that fellow professional athletes very very good professional athletes had for this guy uh, I think just says everything about the type of player that he was. Yes, yeah, and one other one for me, oh, I'm sorry, one, one that I wanted to add is just the durability. I think yeah. sometimes goes overlooked because, you know, if you look at it for his career and you say, well, he missed, what was it, 15 games due to injuries? That's that's a decent amount, but they all came in one season. Yeah. Uh, and then he missed, what, four games due to the suspension. But outside of that, he never missed a game. Zero. Uh, which is pretty remarkable in and of itself. Um, and, I, and I also agree with what Zach said. You know, a lot of guys always talk about how good he was in the locker room, that he treated them like real people um, like any other teammates and that he was just a good guy to be around, which, you know, given his level of fame and success, um, you could take that for granted too. Um, But yeah, obviously there's just a lot that's amazing about his career. Yeah. And you talk about that injury that knocked him out 15 games. It was a torn ACL. It's an injury that puts anyone, including Adrian Peterson on a sideline. So the stuff that he must've been playing through is so impressive. Seven Super Bowl rings, more than any franchise, five Super Bowl MVPs, more than anybody, three league MVPs, three-time All-Pro, and leads in every major statistical category. Now, what stuck out again about Tom Brady announcing his retirement, he went to Instagram on his story, posting photos throughout his career. That included selfies with Bill Belichick, photos of him, Gronk, and Julian Edelman. Jacoby Brissett was in a few. For you guys, do you see the Patriots at some point this offseason, maybe a press conference, maybe a one-day contract in a retirement, or honoring him at halftime sometime next season happening? Or do you think there will be some time before Brady comes back to New England and gets the proper send-off, which he did not get when he left through free agency? I think that will definitely happen at some point. There is absolutely going to be some sort of long, full-blown ceremony where the Patriots are able to kind of properly honor Tom Brady, which, as you mentioned, never really got to happen uh, with the circumstances of, of how he left a couple of years ago. I don't know if that's going to be 
some sort of one day contract type deal. I don't know if that's going to be a case where they maybe wait until the season starts and they honor him at, at halftime of their season opener. I don't know exactly what the logistics of that are going to be. He's certainly going to be in the Patriots hall of fame as soon as he's eligible. I wouldn't be shocked if they even waived that eligibility and just kind of snuck him right in there uh, with the, the, the obvious level that he's at. Um, but Robert Kraft has said um, in the past that he would be open to a, a one day contract type situation for, uh, for Tom Brady. So, uh, so we'll have to wait and see, uh, but I definitely, it would not shock me if there is some sort of Patriots Brady ceremony or moment or, or something uh, within the next couple of months. Dakota. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Um, it will be interesting to see if they go the one day contract route. Personally, I think that's kind of lame. Like, I just think that thing has become a little silly. Um, so if they don't do that, I don't know what form it would take if it were to happen soon. Like, if they were going to try and do something here in the next few weeks or a couple of months or during the offseason, do they just bring him in and do some sort of press conference? Um, I don't know, that, that would seem to be kind of awkward. Maybe they could pull it off. I think I like Zach's idea that maybe they waive the, the eligibility requirement for the Hall of Fame and just sort of rush that in. Then you can kind of kill two birds with one stone. Maybe they, they accelerate the construction of a statue and uh, and put it in the new sort of entry plaza that's going to be a part of Gillette Stadium with all those renovations are done. Maybe there'll be a Tom Brady statue there and they can do it then. Maybe they do it at halftime if he's with Fox next year and does a broadcast of a Patriots game at Gillette. Maybe they bring him down for that too. Um, but I agree with Zach. Something I'm sure will happen. Uh, but it is kind of tough at this point to see what that could possibly be because uh, we really had, just have no idea. I, one thing for me, I don't think you could cram what Tom Brady has meant to New England into a halftime. I, I agree with both your guys' ideas. I would not be surprised at some point, maybe in the summer, you have a full-on day, a full-on night for Tom Brady. You sell tickets. That will fill up Gillette Stadium. That will create buzz around Patriot Place. And you give Tom Brady his proper send-off in New England at Gillette Stadium, on the field, on a big stage. Press conference and all, you know, Q&A at all, whoever hosts that is out the door. But Fill that stadium, give him the proper send-off because I like the idea of a statue too. Tom Brady deserves it all for what he's done for New England, what he's done for the Patriots, for sure. Yeah, I like that setup of of a maybe a souped up version of, of kind of what they do for the um for the Patriots Hall of Fame inductions. Maybe take that from that courtyard, move it into Gillette Stadium. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be able to uh to fill that thing up if it's for Tom Brady. They filled it up for concerts. They'll certainly fill it up for TB12. All right, Zach Cox and Dakota Randall, thank you for taking the time, guys. Get back to it. Plenty more to come for Tom Brady retirement coverage. But as he said in that very personal video, he's retired for good. Zach, Dak, thanks, guys.